Hello City Skylines fans, I am Soxway Up, and welcome back to another episode of Chillhorn Season 2. I believe we're on episode number 9. It's moving along fast. I'm going to start out this episode by kind of road mapping what we're going to do in the next upcoming episodes. I got a lot of things in my head that I want to kind of just get off my chest and talk about what we're going to do, and then we'll go over our basic needs and get into, to get into today's build. One of the first things I want to talk about is we did update the oil area. So we had all this area here that used to be saturated with oil. We ended up running too long into it or running it for too long and draining all the oil. So what I've done is I've enabled the mod that comes with the game that causes the resources to not deplete. So we have that enabled. I'll throw a little flash on there of how we did that. Um, and then I moved the oil around. It's not spread out as much as I wanted to, but we took advantage of what was left of the oil. So this should stay for the rest of our playthrough. This area here now does not have oil in it. And we have plans. I have plans for this to be kind of a warehouse um, factory hub. We'll, we'll have some harbors here as well as a train system that comes in long term. We haven't gotten to any of that yet because the train line is on this tile that we're not sure we want to unlock. And I'm not 100% positive that the next tile this way, it looks like it does unlocks the trains um, to allow us to kind of connect into the external train system, which is kind of a need for exporting goods when it comes to train lines. So that's something that we'll be looking at. Uh, another thing that we wanted to kind of talk about is the way people get into the city. So we have these two major highways. We have one here and one that cuts across that we are extending. No one's really coming in this way yet because it doesn't connect to anything. But we have a lot of people coming in from this direction. If we look at it, we talked about expanding a university here. We're gonna have people that come in, they're gonna have to go all the way to this other freeway connection and then get off at some of these new highways that I've created. Yeah, I did a lot of work off, off camera here, starting to lay down some of the main roads and hubs and where we want the freeway exits to be and made a couple more new ones. But the big gotcha that is going to really cause us to struggle is this right here. I believe we need to update this to be a freeway exit, um, kind of similar to the other ones down here, to allow people the op option to go either direction. And we possibly might mimic this roundabout on this side to make things look symmetrical. So that's something that's going to need to be done. And then also this road here. We're going to want to connect it somehow, maybe go under the highway, over the highway, or something there to kind of get that to connect. Um, got some plans out here that I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do, but I do know we want to build out there eventually, probably high density. Um, and then the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was this water. If we look at our pollution, we want to clean this up. We are very close, if we look at our tabs here, of getting some of the eco water systems in place. We could start using the Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant, but I want the advanced one to unlock, and I think that's something that'll probably go into this hub here. Um, but yeah, that's some of the stuff that's upcoming, and we'll uh, go ahead and jump right into our basic needs for this episode. So let's dive right into the basic needs of the city. Right now, electricity is okay. As we add some more, uh, as we expand in this episode, we might get closer to the yellow, so we probably want to look at adding another electricity source somewhere probably in that new industry area that we're creating up up at the north of the map right now as we look at it water is getting close sewage treatments um i'm gonna leave it for now hopefully we don't run into a problem because i do want to move all of that and clean up the water in general garbage we're still looking pretty good landfills are fine we have plenty of garbage processing school education is going to be part of this episode so we're definitely going to get into that Healthcare is looking okay. We have 16 sick people. Capacity is 700 to heal. So I think we're looking okay. Average health is 74%. Eh, not great. Uh, cemetery usage is pretty good. Child care we got pretty good. Elder care we could uh, improve that a little bit. Uh, but I think we're good for now. Uh, traffic is starting to be a problem in this area. I did some adjustments off camera as well that I guess I should go into over here. We have this new warehouse here that's balanced. We're making so much petroleum that I was having the little icons pop up. So I wanted to put a storage warehouse and you can see as we click in here, we're also exporting our output. Our output is 83 barrels a week. Profit is ridiculous in our oil industry. We're starting to import again. That was not a thing. We'll have to look into that eventually, but Profit's huge right now. We're hitting like 35,000 a week. We're up to almost 10 million right now dollars. So we have 
plenty of money to spend on our university coming up. Um, crime, I think, is okay. Yep. Um, unemployment is something we're going to be looking at because we're going to expand this week. And I think most of that unemployment is due to a need of people, not necessarily too many people for the jobs available. We don't have enough people to fill the jobs. Not 100% sure how that stat works out. I've tried to do a calculation and it drives me nuts. Um, but I think that's pretty good for our basic needs. Let's uh, jump right into the build for today. And we're going to mess around with this freeway system. Um, that's the definitely the wrong button. Um, this is something I'm going to try to tackle live. It might not turn out great. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to try doing something here that I think this is going to be an actual pretty high, highly used area. So we're going to come over here. We're going to extend this road all the way across so we can line it up perfect. Hopefully that lines up good. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but then I want to play around with potentially going out 200. Oops, that's not the right road type. This might end up being a long episode. We'll see. We want to go out about right here. We'll go out to let's see how far that is. Financially, that's how we can track that. Um, we start here. It's not going to let us. It's not going to let us. Let's demolish where we want. Start right there. That's going to be a cost of 400. All right. So let's connect that back at 180. Um, how do we line that up? Brain is not wanting to function. Well, like the big dummy I am, I forgot to hit the record button, but this is the outcome. I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick that I use to create it. The distance isn't perfect, but if you look at it at this angle, I think it looks good. So we have this above ground roundabout, double roundabout exit, which should help the traffic really flow because this will be a busy part of town. You can see they're already having to come through this roundabout, get where they're going. They're going to be able to go back and forth and use this side. So eventually we'll have an exit here and then also coming in from this direction of the city. They can then exit on this spot. But let's go ahead and real quickly kind of show what I did. So we're going to grab just a random random elevated road here and make that straight and go like so. And then we're going to take the smaller roads just because I did it with the math that way. We're going to come out 540 in each direction. And you can do this any size you want, but this is the size that I ended up going with. And then if you come out with the curved road and you go the same distance, do one click and then go on over, start over again, like so. And then get rid of your center roads. You have a nice circle and then you can go ahead and just recreate that on the other side real quick. And that gives us the exact distance. Um, there's some tools that we use uh, in modded uh, city skylines that makes this a little easier. You don't have to use the prices or the cost. You can actually use the distances, which is fine. Either way, you can get around it and make it work. But there's a little recreation of that dumbbell there. You can see how easy that is to actually do once you kind of use your brain and just use some basic math to make everything line up the same. All right, so now that we got that going, let's go ahead and dedicate an area to our university. So we're going to go into the district tab again. We're going to find the paint. Nope, we're going to find the paint campus area. So we're going to start right here. I don't know if we'll bring the campus that low, but we're going to give ourselves about half of this section here. And then I want to go a little bit into this side. We will see how this develops. I do want to build some residential in this area as well. It's one of the things that I like to do with the campuses. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have available to us. We have the trade school as well as, let's get rid of that little pop-up, the liberal arts school. So we could start with this style of building or this one. I tend to always use the trade school, so we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna go with a liberal arts school. And first, let's build an access road. Let's come up about right here. We'll go in um, about to the halfway there. We're gonna build that over and just finish off this little road. That is about halfway. Looks good to me. 
and then let's go back to our campus or education tab and let's just plop that down right in the center there and then this is nice because it makes these paths that we can actually build off of so we could come here back to the education grab the path and we can start extending our campus to where the students are just walking to the classes instead of having to drive at that point so if we did a little circle or a square there we're gonna try to leave some of this terrain around too let's take a look at what we have now we have the dormitorium which is uh let's go a little bit over like that and then we'll bring the paths to actually fit the building there we go uh, can we move that centered a little bit better? We can. All right. And then also let's bring... Let's bring it in a little bit better as well. Very cool. We'll get the water and everything sorted out. And I'm going to play around with a little bit of a layout and show you what I come up with. All right. So we didn't go too far, but this is a little design that we came up with. Here's our liberal, liberal arts study hall. We also did kind of mimic the dormitoriums there. We have a couple of drama clubs, and the reason why I did that was it gets the attractiveness high enough to the school, and I'll show why in a second. And then we have our groundskeeping that we put kind of behind the school there. So let's go ahead and click on this tab here. Right now we're unrecognized. So to get all, a lot of more buildings to unlock for us, we need to become a recognized university. We have enough students and enough attractiveness. Academic works is something that we need to do. So if we hover over here, we can see academic works can be created at the end of each academic year. They are required to level up the campus area and can be displayed in museums to increase the city's attractiveness. So we have a chance right now of 30% of just an academic work being created. If we increase the staff, which that's going to take into a lot of our money. So let's get it set 50%. So that gives us a 50% chance. It's going to take 9,000 a week of our money. We have a good amount of balance right now. We're at 40,000. That shouldn't hurt us too much. But let's go ahead and we'll start. Let's do music. Why not? We'll give a grant. We'll spend fifty thousand. That'll give us one at the end of the count or end of the academic year, and it gives us a fifty percent chance of getting two. So potentially at the end of the first academic year, which we have thirty-four more weeks to go, we potentially could upgrade and expand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera for a little bit. We're gonna start expanding some of the residential area in here and get that first calendar year to end or academic year to end and see where we are. So we can see we're probably not, we can get more students in here, but we have plenty for this first level. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna adjust any policies yet. We'll get into that in a little bit, but we'll check back in in just a second. All right, first academic year is done. We had one academic work, 861 students, and attractiveness is plenty high enough. We're still unrecognized. Gonna have to go through another school year. We're gonna grant another one. Let's do another music one. Let's give it. Let's take a look at uh, how did we see? How do we see what this is? Did I just lose the opportunity? I don't know. But we're gonna let that keep going. We do have like some things unlocked because we hit twenty six thousand. I don't think we need to adjust any of that. Let's let another year go so we can get that second level and expand a little bit before we cut away for that. Let's kind of take a look at what we've done so far. We've Extended. We've extended the, the city uh, quite a bit. We have a lot of areas here that still needs to grow in some low density residential. Let's click on the zoning tab so you can kind of see what I did. We started off by taking a look at this main road that you come into and then you're going to hit this little commercial hub here and then lead into a bunch of residential in the back and we got some issues. You can also see we got to see if this is an influx of new people moving in or what exactly is causing this. I don't understand why the traffic is so bad. Maybe we need to add some lanes here. We have two lanes. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to play around with this a little bit. It's going to keep getting worse, though. It looks like we might end up getting some deadlock here if it doesn't improve. But we're going to let the, the city cycle a little bit and see what happens. We did it. We got three academic works now. We got two that school year, so that's going to help us out a ton. Students were over a thousand. Attractiveness is the same. We are a recognized university now. Looking good. So we unlocked the cafeteria. We un unlocked a fountain, a gymnasium, and an outdoor study, which we can add to our, sit or our university now. And we look at this. We have plenty of students already. We got to up the attractiveness. Let's go back to the academic works. 
We got the Ballad of Blues, which was a nice. This is a pretty cool school. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Let's do another music one. Keep that chance. Let's drag it down to 50,000. Money's still fine. We're going to extend this out a little bit, but before we do that, let's take a little peek at what traffic's doing. The highway seems to recover. This roundabout, this new transition is not, it's not working great. Um, traffic is getting stuck a little bit in it. Let's take a look here. We're at 79%. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm not a huge fan of perfect traffic. I like the realistic look of of traffic backing up a little bit. I don't want it backing up on the freeway like this though. So it's a little subpar for what we want. We're gonna play around with a few things. It is Vanilla City Skylines. I haven't done a ton of road fixing in Vanilla City Skylines in a long time. I am very um, dependent on Traffic Manager mod. So we'll see. I might just do some research myself and do some, some watching to remember some of the tricks that you can do but you can see it comes and goes a little bit so that's a little bit better we're gonna let this play out keep expanding and see if the traffic just redirects itself eventually if it gets a little bit worse and it's backed up on the highway we will revisit that a little bit i don't think making these larger would help um i guess just to do kind of a test we could do that we could go to our highway three lane road upgrade these i just don't think it's gonna i don't think it's gonna matter and you can see it's it's not gonna let us because we're too close to the highway um let's see if this side just seems to behave a little better and it already seems to have and then we maybe we'll adjust this over a little bit to be able to do that um, but i'm gonna go ahead and play with the university a little bit and show you what's up another academic year has passed and we got two more academic works perfect students we're up to almost 1500 Attractiveness went up. We unlocked the statue, the art club, the library, the environmental studies, as well as the liberal arts commencement office. Very cool. Uh, let's take a look here. We're renowned now. So the next thing is more attractiveness, more academic works. We got those going. Uh, this time, let's do a literature one. And let's let that go. You can see traffic is still kind of an issue. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to handle that. We'll, we'll dive into that later. But we also added in a football team, an American football stadium here, as well as a mixture of leisure buildings and then traditional uh, high density. So we're going to have a little leisure section in here for people. And then we'll have these ones upgrade like normal. Oh, did we do low density? No, nope, it's high density. So we'll get those to upgrade and hopefully that'll cause a nice little skyline here, as well as when these houses here completely upgrade, which looks like we missed a few spots right here to kind of finish that skyline. They're not huge squares, so I don't, not sure how tall the buildings will populate in there. It's gonna take a little bit for these to come in. We'll get some good ones right here though. But, you know, you can kind of see this is this is probably some of the issue with the traffic is how many buildings we are cramming in. We're going to keep expanding, keep going and see how that turns out, though. Um, I'm not too upset yet or too worried about the traffic. I think it'll turn out OK once we keep expanding and get past this being the main area where people are moving into right now. There's some other things that we can do where if we zoom in. We can see a lot of these are trucks and things that are being dropped off to businesses. If we could turn that into local traffic by using trains and some cargo hubs, that might help as well. Instead of having, you know, semis and vehicles from out of town have to drive in, the goods can get dropped off at the location itself and, or not at the location, but in the city itself and potentially help out that way. This, oops, let's pause it. We just broke it. This little experiment, didn't seem to help much, so we're going to undo what we did there to make it look decent again. I, I just don't think that that was enough of a change um, traffic-wise to to keep it that way. Um, we'll see if it gets a lot worse and play around with that a little bit more. But yeah, traffic's becoming an issue, but expansion was pretty cool. Let's take an overall look of the city now. Yeah, it's growing. It's getting pretty large. This is this is exciting. I haven't seen Vanilla City Skylines this way in a long time. 
Got some finishing to do out here. Oh, there's another thing we haven't shown. I started building out this area where we added the added a unique building of the a unique building, is that what they're called? Yeah. Of the Posh Mall. And then just some commercial around it. So there's a little bit more to do there as well as this cargo area. Lots to go in uh, Chillhorn Season 2. I hope this one was a fun episode. Again, we're going to start doing some of that cargo hub, clean up this ugly, dirty water, and keep on expanding. This this island's going to turn out pretty sweet, I think. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I hope you are. Let me know. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for hanging out for another episode of Chillhorn Season 2.